Hey guys, Will Roger here, and today I'm going to give a quick tip on MIDI overdub mode in Reaper. Now, if you're like me, you like to record uh, MIDI tracks with a MIDI keyboard, just playing it in live. Now, in Sonar and Cubase, you can easily record take after take, adding new elements to the track each time. Uh, unfortunately, in Reaper, by default, it will relegate your previous recording to a separate take every time you go back and record over something. So unfortunately, you won't hear it as just one clip that's getting more and more complexity as you keep recording. And uh, I'll just give a quick demonstration of that. And when I go to record new layers on top of that, watch what happens. So now it's not only muted the previous take, but also you can only hear whichever take is currently active. Now I could tell it to play all takes. Uh, you just go to Properties, F2, and Play All Takes, but that's not a very good workflow. Luckily, there is something you can do to get around this, and that's called MIDI Overdub Mode. Uh, to turn it on, you just create a track. We have it here. And on the input, instead of the default record input, we're going to choose Record MIDI Overdub Replace and MIDI Overdub over here. And now, when I record, I can record new layers on top of it as many times as I like. And it'll just keep adding to the clip. I can have as much complexity as I want. And it'll just keep adding and adding the more you record. Uh, the advantages, of course, are not only that you can hear what you've previously recorded, but also you can edit all of it together. Um, so it's really the best way to deal with MIDI recording in Reaper, in my opinion. Now, just as a quick reminder, I always recommend that whenever you have anything like this track that we've just created that'll be reused over and over again, uh, that you save it as a template. Uh, the way to do that is you simply right-click, Save as Template. Uh, now, I already have a MIDI track template, which you can see here. Um, it's set uh, all the MIDI inputs, and it's set to overdub mode. And uh, it's also set to automatic arm when selected. I like to have all of my tracks set to that so it's easy to just go from one track to the next and record whatever I want. And uh, now that this is a template, all I have to do is drag its I.O. to the synthesizer's track and set the correct MIDI channel, and I'm done. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quickie tutorial. I think that this will save a lot of time for folks like me who record with MIDI extensively. Thanks.